Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Bomb Jack on the ZX Spectrum. Um, I'm playing it on the Vega, so there's a mapping file as always in the description below. Um, just simple enough up, down, left, right, and jump. Um, Bomb Jack, uh, based on an arcade game of the same name. Um, I think I played the arcade game first. I was incredibly impressed by it. I really, 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 really loved it. Um, I don't think I loved number two at all, but I certainly loved um, number one. Um, uh, it's 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 a simple enough idea. Um, I'm gonna press one to play. Right. Um, you are bomb jack, and you collect bombs. Um, and you can do super high jumps to do that. Uh, collecting them when they're sort of uh, in the process of catching fire allows you to get. Oh goodness. Uh, allows you to get higher scores. Uh, there was a thing here that allows you to. Turn all the creatures into little happy smiley faces if you can get it like that. Um, the jump is quite flexible. It's quite of an odd one here um, in the sense that um, you can jump, and if you tap the jump, you float like that. If you pushed up with the jump at the same time, you got a super high jump. If you push the jump at the oh my goodness, oh goodness. If you press the jump and up, you get a turbo jump, as it's called, which allows you to jump a lot higher. Um, as I say, collecting them with the with the um, being lit, which is ne meant to do it in sequential order, um, gives you a lot higher score. I think it even gives you a bonus stage if you do it correctly. Yeah, there you go. 20 to 21 parts sparkling bombs. So I did quite well there. Uh, different levels, different stages. Uh, I think they're almost uh, accurate to the arcade. Um, you can clear the level by um, just um, collecting the bombs, because that's the name of the game, Bomb Jack. Um, there, is, there is definitely a worthwhile um, reason to, to not do that, clearly. Ah! At least it doesn't clear the level and reset it to beginning again once you've done it, so... The thing is, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good conversion. The only thing that re the Spectrum version really lacks is the colours of the arcade. Um, I mean, they've done nicely with the backgrounds, but they haven't done particularly well with the, with the um, sort of you know characters themselves. I, I have to admit, I, I think when I got this after playing the arcade version, I was uh, slightly disappointed. But at the same time, it is the gameplay is there and it's speedy. I mean, you've not noticed any slowdown here. We haven't, no you won't have noticed any particular, you know, anything particularly bad going on in the context of the game. Um, was it the first game to use emojis, though? That's a good question. Because there's, there's, the sort of, you know, when they, when they get powered up, they go pow in with the joke with emoji. I don't know. Just wondered. Hmm. Yeah, good arcade game. A lot of fun to play. I definitely enjoyed it. I still do, actually. To be fair, the fact that I remember so much of it is quite a, quite a, quite a, quite a good thing. There's one that tracks you straight away, and the other ones are kind of more in your way, but not really doing you that much damage. There we go. I'm going right up there. Click that. So he's basically a man who can can jump and then defy gravity a little bit. And that seems to be a superpower that, and he can gobble up bombs. But yeah, Bomb Jack, well worth playing, uh, great fun, uh, incredibly enjoyable, um, a good arcade game. If you ever see the arcade game, I would highly recommend chucking some coins at it. Um, and it's certainly one of my favourites. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Anyway, um, I'm your host, Real Genetic Demon. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye now.